The financial year has ended and you are not sure what are your goals for the coming year to expand your business profitability. Using the latest financial statements, the first step to plan ahead for the coming year's targets is to forecast revenue and prepare a budget of expenses. This involves a lot of careful planning as you do not want to set unrealistic targets. When forecasting your revenue and preparing your budgets, it is important to consider external market factors such as market trends, social demographics, competition, etc. We have identified the four key reports in the financial statements that will help you understand where your business is positioned financially, which will help you focus on setting your targets. Firstly, the profit or loss reports. This is by far the most important statement for business owners. It reflects the company's profitability for the financial period or year as it details down the total sales generated and the total costs incurred during the year. Is your company not generating enough sales despite all the advertising efforts? Are certain costs too high? With these questions in mind, you will start to have questions and ideas of what to do next in order for your company to achieve profitability in the coming year. After preparing the forecast revenue and budget of expenses, the next thing in mind is to ensure that there is enough cash to execute your business plans. How much cash do you need for the new advertising campaign in the next financial year or quarter? Are you seeing great revenue figures but having too little cash only to realize your customers on credit terms are not paying the invoices? As a business owner, you obviously want a positive cash flow to ensure that there are always sufficient funds to keep the business going. This is also known as a statement of financial position as part of the financial statements. The balance sheet lists down all of the assets, liabilities and equity of the business. The reviewing of the balance sheet goes hand in hand with the preparation of the cash flow reports. On the asset sections, for example, if you are seeing great revenue figures but your cash at bank balance is low and your accounts receivables are high, this means that you have a lot of customers on credit terms. Some of the questions you should ask yourself are, firstly, should you offer a small discount to incentivize customers to pay ahead of the invoice due date? Secondly, are your customers' payment way past their due date? On the liabilities section, for example, if you are seeing very high liabilities figures, some of the questions you could ask yourself when planning the budget for next year are, firstly, does the business have enough cash to pay off its debts when they are due? Secondly, are there expenses that were accrued for the next year that could be unnecessary spending? For companies who are trading in goods, the inventory report is important as you need to know the total quantity per inventory type and the unit cost of each item at your fingertips. At an overview, the inventory reports will also tell you which are the fast-moving and popular items versus the slower-moving and less popular items. This will give you a better idea of what to include during your next sale so that these items get sold off before it gets obsolete and what to order more during your next order or shipment from your supplier. If you are unsure about the financial health of your business, please do not hesitate to contact our accounting experts at Sleep.